Good morning, Patriots. A Town Today is creating a new reality show called The Champion. If you'd like to participate, go to this Google form on the screen right now. The winner will win $100. Yes, that's right. $100. Do you have what it takes to be the champion of A Town? We hope to see you there. Hi everyone, this week, November 13th to 17th, is Albemarle High School's College Week. On Wednesday, November 15th, there will be a college resource fair during first and second lunch. Different community organizations will be available to provide you with resources for internships, extracurricular opportunities, and much more. We will also have a prize table. If you speak with three different organizations and receive signatures from them, you'll be entered to win some college swag. We will also have on-site admissions events. In the on-site admissions process, you'll be visited by a college admissions officer for a meeting. During the meeting or shortly after, the admissions officer reviews your, reviews your application and tells you that same day if you're accepted. To meet with a college admissions officer, you must sign up using the link that I or the counseling department sent to your email. You must also have your application completed before meeting with the admissions officer. If you have any questions, please talk to me or a guidance counselor. Good morning, Patriots. I'm Cameron Day. It's Tuesday, November 14th, and we have a very special Aton Today offering for you. For the first time ever, we're welcoming guests in for an in-studio conversation. I'm joined today by cross-country runners Eli Phillips and Maddie Gibson, who, as you know, have led their teams to the state, state championship race, picking up a first-place finish and state championship for the boys' squad and runner-up honors for the girls' team. Hi, welcome to Aton Today. So the most important question first, how do you celebrate a state championship in cross country? Um, we celebrated our state championship um, with Chick-fil-A and tears. In the girls team, we all spend a lot of time um, with each other and it's always really fun the bus ride back after mm -hmm. the state meet. Everyone's in a really good mood um, and it's really great to listen to music and bond and talk to each other. At one point in the season, did you start to feel like this year would be special? And when did you think that this state championship would be special? Well, for the girls team, I'd have to say it was probably in late September and I was watching some of the girls run their workouts. Um, we had a really new squad this year and so no one knew what to expect, but once I saw how they were performing in their workouts, I knew um, the team this year was something special. Mm -hmm. um, we were lucky to have most of our varsity team return from last year. Um, I really knew that we had it in us when it had to be early season, probably around our first meet, second meet. Um, Balen Duncan just was mobbing people down, just taking up all these places. Um, I really knew that we had it in us to rack up some points for the state meet. And one point in time did you start, uh, start to think this uh, state championship seemed possible? Um, really, it started all coming together around regionals. Um, we had been heavily waiting for an opportunity to get back at Clover Hill after the start of the season. Um, we beat them at regionals with a three point difference. Um, and it was then that we all were like, we were ready. We're ready to just go crazy out there. Oh. Take us to the end of the race. What were your thoughts and feelings when you seen the uh, times coming? Um, like after everyone finished? Mm -hmm. um, I, I actually was having a bit of a tough time. Uh, I had fallen down like 500 meters left. Uh, so uh, once I got to the finish line, I was, I was down for a bit. Um, so I, I don't remember much, uh, but um, it was afterwards talking to the coaches. Uh, once I kind of was able to walk again, and I like, was talking to my coaches. They, I was like, "How's the team looking?" And they kept it kind of quiet until they knew how the girls' team placed. And it was very exciting. 
Yeah, approaching that finish line, seeing the times in the low 16s, um, all the culmination of all the progress that that season had been just kind of started all coming together. Um, during my race, I had someone that was like kicking me throughout the entire thing. Um, just all that anger that was building up, all the all the emotions of like, our team can do it um, and just push it across the line. Same thing with Maddie running over to our coach and seeing how it was all going to play out. You both had great seasons individually. What what does the end results mean to the team? Um, like the state championship mm -hmm. end results? Yeah. Um, I think it... <laughs> I think it speaks a lot uh, to how Almoral Girls Cross Country is able to con have continuous con success. Um, we lost a lot of our top seven last year, and so going this year, we like, honestly, our coaches didn't know if we were going to make it to the state meet, um, just because everyone was so new and so young to the sport. So I think it really speaks to the training our coaches do, and um, just at the Albemarle community that we're able to pull such great athletes from here. Yeah, we have a bunch of new guys in Albemarle cross country. Um, so getting to see um, some of our lower guys fight for our seventh spot at the district race was really great. And then seeing that top seven that was so tight at the end of states, um, it's a really good sign for what is to come at Foot Locker, our next race, and then next year when we are retaining six of our top seven and seeing if Nationals is a possibility for us. Can you describe the collective feeling, uh, can you describe the collective feeling of going to the finish line and as like the team, the collective feeling? Yeah, um, I think I speak for all of us when um, it's just, overwhelming like um, relief in a way um, and a little bit um, looking back just I I work so hard for this I'm very proud of yourself um, excited for your team ready to see how you all do um, and can you rephrase that question for me again uh, oh like on the can you describe line? the collective uh, feeling of the cross country program as you realized you were going to be champions. Um, so I I'd say everyone was a little bit in disbelief. Like the girls were like, "What? We got we got second? Um, and because none of us really thought we were going to get second. Um, so um, we we're all really excited, and I'm really proud of the team. And it was so exciting seeing the emotion on the younger girls faces because I mean I'm a senior this year and so I've seen a lot of I've been through to a lot of state meets and so just seeing their excitement made me really excited for the future of album Royal cross country because I know there's um, the next generation ready to carry on the momentum can you tell us a little bit about your coaches and how do they prepare you for the season yeah for sure so we've got um, a lovely lovely coaches we've got our head coach coach Kaufman and um, she has led an amazing program um, and the girls team is very successful and um, she, she I just would like to give thanks to her because she really knows what she's doing so um, she's awesome and we've got two other assistant coaches who just do amazing jobs supporting us um, on the boys' side, we got our head coach, Lauren Zoni, and then we have a bunch of assistant coaches, um, Coach Jones, um, Coach Zartler, and Coach Colton, Vera, Coach Vera, um, and just Lauren Zoni especially, just he... He does everything so perfectly. Everything is worked down to a science. Um, I started as an eighth grader, not n almost not finishing races, and I'm where I am today solely because of Lauren Zoni. Um, 
I just really want to thank him for all the work he's put into the team, all the stats he's drawn up, all the workouts he's created. You both had amazing seasons. What's next after? What's what's next for each of you? Um, so both of us, there's a final race uh, we have called Foot Locker. It's going to be a regional race, and through it, um, you could potentially qualify for nationals. You have to place top ten, I believe. Um, so we're both going to that um, in like two weeks, and we're both trying to qualify for nationals. Um, so and then it's the end of cross country. So very excited. So yeah, what Maddie is saying, um, we have Foot Locker, so from Delaware to Florida, um, all the best teams are competing. Me and Maddie are in the race of champions. We'll get to see if Nationals is a possibility for us. Um, and after this, we got Indoor. Um, super excited for that. Um, it's looking really good. Just a lot of good stuff coming in the future. Thank you so much for taking the time to be with us today. Of uh, course. Congratulations again to you and for the runners on your team for winning. Yeah, thank and, you. And good luck for whatever comes next for you. Thank you. Thank you. Before we go, just one quick reminder that the Albemarle Drama Department presents Clue, the play based on everyone's favorite board game, opening tomorrow night and running through Sunday. Go to Albemarle Players slash Weebly.com to get your ticks. This is going to be a great show. And finally, if you're interested in trying out for A-Town Champions that you saw at the top of the show, you can find the link to the Google form in the description of today's broadcast on YouTube. That's all for now. We'll see you tomorrow on A-Town Today.